Hello everyone, my name is Zach, I am The Traveling Man, and in this video I'm going to share with you three proven methods of getting an upgrade on your next cruise vacation. So one of the most exciting parts of planning and anticipating your cruise vacation is the stateroom. What's your stateroom going to be like when you first get there? You know that moment. When you first get on the cruise, you open up that door, you see your stateroom for the first time, and you know that you're at home for the next few days, maybe a week, maybe a couple of weeks, depending on the length of your cruise. It's very exciting. And I know there's a lot of chatter in the cruise communities that I follow online. Folks always ask, folks always want to know, how do you get an upgrade on your cruise? What's the best method? What are the tips and tricks? So I'm gonna share with you today three proven methods to guarantee that you get an upgrade for your next cruise vacation. And you're like, how do you know this? How do you know that they're guaranteed? How can you say that? Well, they're guaranteed because I've used them. I've used all three of these before and they work. They're proven. The first one is just to call the cruise line and pay the difference to upgrade. So let's say you're currently in a balcony stateroom and you've been eyeing a suite. You want to stay in a particular category of suite and you just want to do it. You just know that's where you want to stay. You're willing to pay the difference. You go online, you know what the difference is. Just call the cruise line, call your travel agent, whoever helps you book your cruise vacations. Call them and they'll be able to help you upgrade. Now you might be thinking, well, this is going to cost me a lot more money. Or when I booked my cruise, the suite I want to stay in costed a lot more than what the balcony I booked. And I just booked the balcony because I could afford it. Well, that might not be the case. Have you been checking the price drops? Because consider that the price of that suite might have dropped since you booked your cruise. So go on and check. See if that suite is maybe a little bit more affordable now. And you can always call the cruise line and whatever you've paid them so far for your balcony can be applied toward the price of that suite. So you may not have to pay as much as you think to upgrade. And I have done this method many times. Like I said, it's the most guaranteed way of getting upgraded for your cruise. I've done this through price drops. So if you're ever in doubt, if you ever have any question on whether or not you want to upgrade, if you are eligible to upgrade, just call the cruise line, call your travel advisor, and they'll be able to help you. This is also your earliest opportunity because literally the day after you booked your cruise, you can call and start trying to get an upgrade. Or you can just watch it. Just watch the price of your cruise over time. Say your cruise is six months out make sure you go in every day check the price of that suite and once it gets into a range where you're comfortable call the cruise line and do the upgrade i will also say if you have a particular category of stateroom that you want to be in this is also the best way to guarantee you're going to get in that because keep in mind that the closer you get to sailing the more likely it is that that stateroom is going to be sold out and suites typically sell out first because the cruise lines want you to sell in a suite they want to sell all those suites out the most expensive rooms on the ship will always sell out first. So if you really have your heart set on a certain stateroom, call the cruise line, pay the difference, and just upgrade it yourself. That's the best guarantee you have at getting an upgrade. Now because the cruise lines want to sell out all of their suites and higher end cabins, they sometimes actually make the calls themselves. I've actually heard this happening a lot with Carnival Cruise Line, and in fact Carnival Cruise Line will even send you an email sometimes, and that's sort of how they work upgrades. They'll send you an email or they'll give you a phone call. It's funny, uh, online in some of the cruise communities, they call this the upgrade ferry. They say, I got a call from the upgrade ferry, which just means they got a phone call from someone who works at the cruise line. And they were like, hey, you're currently in an interior. Would you like to pay us $500 more and move up to a balcony? And then the choice is yours. Sometimes they send emails like that. That's how Carnival Cruise Lines offers upgrades. So the second method is to take advantage of the cruise line upgrade program. And if you've sailed with Royal Caribbean or Celebrity Cruises, you might be familiar with Royal Up on Royal and Move Up on Celebrity. And these are the programs I'm talking about. The Royal Up program and the Move Up program, and I think other cruise lines have programs like this as well. It's essentially a bidding system for upgrades. So how this works is anytime within a month and a half of your sailing, you're going to receive an email or some type of a notification on your cruise planner. Hey, would you like to bid up and bid on a higher stateroom. And then you're gonna to go to this website because all of this is operated by a third party. They do it all for the cruise line. Uh, but it takes you to that third party's website. You're gonna be offered a number of selections, usually from the highest end suite available on the ship all the way down to the category of stateroom just above what you're currently booked in. So let's say you're currently booked in an interior. Well, you're gonna have as options to bid on everywhere from an ocean view cabin all the way up to the highest end suite on board the ship. And listed with each of those categories of staterooms is gonna be a slider with a minimum bid, which that's the lowest that they'll take, all the way up to thousands and thousands above that. And you just bid whatever you're comfortable with on that slider, you submit your bids. You can bid on a number of 
staterooms, you know, if there's 10 on the list, you could bid on all 10 of them and just see what happens. And then usually within a week or two of your sailing, you'll get an email if you've been upgraded, letting you know, congratulations, you know, your credit card's been charged and you've been upgraded. So this is a really good method of getting upgraded on your cruise. I've used this a number of times with great success. In fact, I have booked the cheapest rate I could on both Celebrity Edge and Celebrity Beyond and then bid like $500 total and gotten into aqua class on two different cruises. So make sure you utilize these upgrade programs offered by the cruise line, because like I said, they're really easy and convenient ways of potentially getting an upgrade on your cruise. So as I mentioned, those cruise upgrade programs go up to just about a week or two within sailing. So now your last resort at getting an upgrade on your cruise is actually onboarding day. And you're like, isn't that too late to change your stateroom? Actually, it's not. And this last method is one that I've employed a lot in 2022, which is when I'm recording this video, and I've had 100% success rate with it. So what you wanna do is upon check-in, you know, now a lot of the cruise lines are doing check-in online, and when you do that check-in process, you actually get to pick what time you wanna show up at the pier for embarkation. Get the earliest time you can. Cross your fingers that it's the first embarkation slot of the day, because you wanna be, your goal in all this is being one of the first people on board the ship, because as soon as you board the ship, onboarding day, you want to go directly to guest services. And the question you want to ask is, hi, do you have any upgrades available for the sailing? Be very nice, be very courteous, don't demand anything. And usually, 100% of the time for me in 2022, there are upgrades available on the ship. Now, do know that these are usually at a cost. They're not gonna be free upgrades. So don't think you're gonna wait until the day of the cruise, get on board and they're just gonna throw you into a suite from an interior for free, cause they're not. You are gonna have to pay, but it's not gonna be as much as what you probably would have had to have paid through the upgrade program or through calling the cruise line. So this is probably your cheapest option of an upgrade, but it's also your most risky because you are waiting until the day you're already on board the ship. And because Capacity has increased now. These ships are selling at 100% capacity. They're completely full sometimes when you board the ship. Unless you're one of the first few people on board the ship asking for an upgrade, probably not gonna get it. Make sure you boarded the ship within the first 30 minutes of boarding starting on embarkation day. That's what I've done. And again, 100% success rate. So much so that on my recent selling on the Celebrity Summit, I only paid $150 to go from an interior stateroom to a balcony stateroom for a four night cruise. That was pretty tremendous and I was excited about that. And actually that was the impetus for me making this video because I was like, I have to share this with folks and let them know how easy it is to get upgraded on your cruise. So if it does come down to embarkation day and you're still you know, kind of curious about an upgrade, do make sure you stop by guest services and just see what's available. Even if you're not one of the first people on the ship, you never know, other people might've turned down the upgrades or something else might've opened up. So always go by there, be nice, and ask if there's the opportunity for you to upgrade your stateroom. So those are the three tips that I have for you, but I also wanted to say something to keep in mind when you're thinking about all these things is that the cruise lines want to upgrade you. The odds of being upgraded are in your favor. They wanna get as much revenue as they can in that selling, and that means them selling out of suites, that means them selling out of all the balconies. That means if any of the cabins on board the ship are left empty at the time the ship sells, they want those to be the interior rooms. They want those to be the cheapest rooms on the ship because they wanna make all the money they can. Folks, we love our cruise lines, we have favorite cruise lines, but at the end of the day, the cruise lines are not out for us. They're out for money, they're a business, they wanna make money. They want every single one of us to upgrade our staterooms on every cruise we go on. So the odds are in your favor. Make sure you go down in the comments and let me know, have you ever upgraded your cruise? How did you do it? Have you gone to guest services on embarkation day? Have you done the royal up or the move up or similar things like that? Let folks know down below and I encourage you to go down and read the comments and see how folks are getting upgrades because I want us all to be very successful on our upgrade adventures in 2023. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you found it informative. If you did, make sure you go down below. Give me a thumbs up. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel while you're down there. I have a lot more cruise content to come very soon. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you on the next adventure.